Idaho adopted legislation a few years ago, nationally known as the Justice Reinvestment Initiative. Its mission is to help curb the state's corrections costs, make sure the right people are in prison, and reinvest in public safety. An IDOC report says the state could avoid spending up to $150 million by reducing the prison population and not building a new one. But some law enforcement says part of those averted costs are going on the backs of county taxpayers as more state prisoners fill up much needed jail bunks. As you walk up and down rows of bunks and lines of cells in every prison in Idaho, almost every bed is full. State prison overcrowding leading to county jails overflowing. We don't have enough beds for ourselves, and yet we're competing with the state when we go to try to rent bed space from another county. Every day, state prisoners are put in county facilities. And because of that, they're backlogged in our jail. The two largest jails right here in the Treasure Valley, as state inmates are passed on to Ada and Canyon counties. This is not fair to the county taxpayers. Local sheriff's offices say the costs and burdens go on the backs of county taxpayers. The county tax bill is going up. Sheriffs say many of those IDOC inmates are in jail waiting to get assigned to a prison. And most are there because they violated their parole and can't bond out. And they're back in the system either because they committed a technical violation or because they've committed a new crime. We're the unintended consequence. Prisoners can be in the county's custody for six to eight weeks, sheriffs say, awaiting a parole hearing or judgment of a new crime. That time seems to be getting longer and longer. Idaho law requires the Idaho Department of Correction pay counties $45 a day to house each of their inmates, even though it costs around $80 a day to keep them in the Canyon County Jail and $96 in Ada County. We're going to get these people out of prison and sorry, county, you're going to flip the bill for that. Well, that's not right. As of early January, state inmates made up about 20% of Ada and Canyon County's jail populations. Over the last few years, the percentage of parole violators coming back to the jail is greater than it's ever been. But what can it be attributed to? Law enforcement says the exponential growth Idaho seen, crime rates trending upward with population, felony convictions on the rise, and some local law enforcement argue it's also because of the Justice Reinvestment Initiative. You know, part of it, I can't say all of it is because of JRI, because our county population is growing significantly also. It's not a great system. It's a great idea, theoretically. It's a dismal failure. It is just not working. In my opinion, I don't think we have enough information to say that. I know that's a perception. Parole Commission Director Sandy Jones says in Idaho, people go to jail before prison, even before JRI was implemented. Signed into law in 2014 by Governor Otter, JRI's ultimate goals are to reform our criminal justice system, avoid building a new prison, and decrease the number of people who reoffend, known as recidivism. It's a little bit early to say, you know, if they've been successful or not. Before enacting JRI, the Council for State Governments did a study revealing Idaho had high recidivism rates and inefficient prison bed use. Today, the state is focusing on reserving prison beds for the most dangerous offenders. How we can make best use of the prison space we have. Tracking effectiveness of programs and improving probation and parole supervision. The right people in custody and the right people out on supervision. IDOC Director Henry Atencio says there are signs JRI has helped some. A 2017 impact report showed the number of inmates physically in IDOC facilities is down, but it's not enough to ease overcrowding. Lower risk offenders serving past their fixed term have dropped off slightly too. I don't think that JRI has been um, a, a negative thing in our state. Maybe the expectation was that it would it would um, reduce prison bed space. You know th that that hasn't happened. Last year's report revealed Idaho is still struggling with high recidivism. So there needs to be a stronger emphasis on helping offenders heading back into the community. And the report says once out, support, treatment and programs are crucial to make sure they don't land behind bars again. With good data for a couple of years, we'll have a better idea of what the impact has been in terms of recidivism. There's going to be bumps in the road. There's going to be bad things that happen. I think there might be changes. I think the legislature would be open to changes, um, but I haven't heard anyone talk about like discontinuing justice reinvestment in Idaho.
The state made major changes to JRI over the last couple years, but correctional leaders say they'd really like to focus reform more on the front end of the system and on sentencing. Meanwhile, both Ada and Canyon County say they're desperate for more room. Ada is calling for an add-on, while Canyon County, as we've been covering for quite a while, is fighting for a whole new jail.